Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast show. It is Expresso right here on SABC3 this beautiful 26th of January. Can you believe that we are already this far into the month? But we are talking about jobs that were once very important but have become somewhat obsolete. Could they be making a comeback at any time soon? Oh, man, I think a lot of us are asking, are our jobs safe now? <laughs> um, we've had a laugh at some oh. of the jobs that are no longer applicable to today's um, day. Take us through one that is definitely not. Definitely still not is something called a moirologist. All right, moirologist. So, yeah. So basically, right. in the 19th century, all right, when funerals were a status symbol as well as a fond farewell ceremony, wealthier families, all right, they often felt compelled to hire prestige professional criers, all right, <laughs> to attend. Yeah, exactly the funeral. Wow. So the hired mourners would usually be in a small group consisting of one quiet mute and two or three very loud criers to pay or to, you know, to grieve and to cry and to so wail. You, just, you get one that's just a shoulder shaker. Just yeah, 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 it doesn't yeah. matter. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's all like... I, I can't believe this actually existed. But not surprisingly, um, paying pretenders to pay their respects quickly fell out of fashion in the 1900s. No, no, I don't know right. if it's still out of fashion, though. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. hear about this really? a lot. Still yes, no. rent a crowd. Hello. Okay, and okay, you, but not for funerals. No, I've Come heard, on. I've heard you can rent some criers for your funeral. Anyways, the one that I want to talk about, I think Good is kind of still <laughs> relevant today. Okay, so back in the day before toilets, uh, someone had the very unpleasant job of removing human waste from toilets. They were called professional night soil collectors. Now, night soil is a very um, elaborate euphemism for human waste, okay? <laughs> so much. basically what you had to do is you had to go to everybody's house at night and collect poo <laughs> either from cesspits or from chamber pots, and then it was used for fertilizer. Um, and this was usually carried out discreetly at night time. Eventually, sewage systems yeah. made this job obsolete. I'm um, sure they're and they're of happy course, about it. <laughs> yeah. of course, farmers realized that it was really unpleasant. Plus, it was also a very big health risk yeah. as well. So, sorry for night soil collectors. Uh, well, this one's quite interesting as well. Um, during World War One, a country's only like defense listening out for uh, you know enemy planes Aircraft, would yeah. be their ears. So the military actually employed someone that actually had the title called an aircraft listener, and they would use uh, war tubers designed. Yeah to funnel the sounds of you know any aircraft yeah. into headphones so they would listen out for if there's any enemy planes coming coming close <laughs> and then by World War II they actually have developed radar so it was a bit more easier to detect the yeah. enemy exciting what okay. I wonder how far away an aircraft listener would have heard a funeral party <laughs> if there were whalers <laughs> in it but unbelievable stuff wow. maybe you've got a job um, that you reckon should be obsolete or maybe you think your job is at risk let us know on our Express of Facebook page. Well, one job that is going strong, and I think a lot of kids out there want to get into it, sound engineering. It's all about creating a quality product, but I think what the real, real, real gem out there is they want to get the festivals, they want to work with the big bands, and very few actually get to do that. Like Anderson Mabitzela, who has cracked the big time and now takes us inside his labour of love.